Good afternoon and welcome back to another video on the channel KJ Collectibles uh, with a little bit different stuff going on today. Um, got ourselves a uh, tripod um, as opposed to just using a camera or my phone and uh, one of these little stands that I have. So trying to do things a little bit differently, trying to step up and make it a little bit easier on us um, and hopefully make it a better uh, experience for the viewer. Um, <coughs> also, um, doing some 2019 product. If you can see in the background, we have the Fernando Tatis uh, Refractor uh, Rookie, um, PSA 10. There it is under there, so it's a PSA 10. Um, so I have that in my collection, uh, waiting for the right time. I don't know if now it is. I mean, his cards have exploded, which is why I'm opening these. I had these packs, and my plan was to hold on to them and keep them. Um, but right now, it's been a little uh, over a year, and they've only gone up by like five bucks. Um, if I had some hobby boxes, things like that, I think the, the price is better there. So I've decided to rip. I've been talking about that PSA submission I'm trying to do. So figured if I can get any of the big name players, I can get those uh, in and ready for next year. And I know it's weird for a lot of people I'm talking about getting something uh, graded and it'll be next year. Um, but it's probably about every bit of six months. So hopefully I, if I did it, I'd be hoping for opening day. I don't have a lot of football, which I guess is good. Um, so I won't be missing the football season with a, a grading side of things. I'm gonna open a few of these as I'm talking. I do have some basketball cards I'm gonna get graded and mostly baseball. So with that, honestly, I can wait till next year basketball for the most part. And I can wait till next year baseball for the most part so we'll see these are the retail uh what cello packs blaster packs whatever you want to call them that have the pink parallels i just did a few of these for um 2020 just the other day so we're going to start with some of the pink obviously in this product we're looking for tatis jr eloy jimenez Vlad Guerrero, Pete Alonzo, Kershaw's nice. So we're just gonna do a few of the pinks first. Tommy Pham, Brandon Lau. I wonder if he's a Lau or a Low. I don't remember, I know they have Brandon and Nate. One's Lau, one's Low, same team. Loriano rookie, David Peralta. And let's check one more before we get into the regular packs. So there should be inserts, parallels. That's kind of what you're looking for. And Duhar. So none of the big ones in there, which is perfectly fine. We are moving on to four cards per pack. A little, little bit difficult for me because the frame of the, um, I got Ryan O'Hearn. I have to get used to looking into the video camera and not to the cards themselves because we do have the, um, the tripod set up. But Logan is extremely excited because it's actually also a selfie stick. He spent all day yesterday and today, Chris Bryant, all day over the last two days, just making videos with his, with this on uh, his old cell phone. We got Matt Boyd, Prism, Mike Trout, Chrome, and De Los Santos, Rookie. And I was talking to people, I posted a video yesterday uh, it took a very long time, it might have been very early this morning, uh, a VIA. It took a very long time for me to actually get it uploaded and get it posted, probably up to two hours. And it's a long video, it's an hour. So my goal is to keep videos around 20 minutes, 15 ideally, but I know I can't always do that. I will do my best to keep it short. I think that's going to help me upload more. Help me get more videos 
and hopefully have it be a situation that the people that are watching them enjoy them more. So Anthony Rizzo, Refractor, Walker Bueller, Rookie Cup, and Jose Barrios. I opened a lot of these cards last year, like a lot. So if anyone's looking for base or rookies or pinks or refractors, I do have a ton of them still. I went through a ton of boxes and did some sorting. There's an Aaron Judge, Colby Allard, and Adelberto Mondesi. I did some sorting, so I'm probably going to do base team lots, just base cards over the last couple years. Just base, not even rookies, and selling for a couple bucks a piece. Um, seen a lot of people having luck online with those. Tim Anderson. And then I have the rookie set aside where I can go through each year, see if there's anyone that's popping, or even as it's happening. Like Tommy Edmond, who popped last year. Buster Posey Refractor, Mr. JD Martinez, and a Kershaw. So I can be a little more spot on with getting a... Uh... Oh, that is one of the rookies. I don't know who. I can tell, if you look at the card, it's a little bit smaller than the other ones. The cards that got added after number 200 were like that. So and I think that's a Tatis. I see a, a blue up in that corner, and it's a profile, and it is. Fernando Tatis, the guy we're going after, the guy we're looking for, looks clean. We'll have to wipe off there some dust, but not bad. First four packs, I'll take that all day long. I did just buy... One of these for 40 bucks yesterday. They're on eBay for 50. Um, so I bought one of these from someone selling it. That and a Vlad Jr. autograph that I thought were good buys. I don't normally do that, especially at higher prices, but uh, I'm going to send it in to get graded. <clears throat> and if it comes back even at a PSA 9, they sell for right now probably like 70 or 80 bucks. So I have a, a lot of room there. So that was a nice last pack of that total of 11 of these. So that will be getting graded. See if I can get anything decent in the pink. Because these refractors can go for a decent amount too. Less than the regular refractors or prisms. Just because they're retail only. But I'd had good luck two years ago with some Juan Sotos. Unfortunately, sold all of those early. Juan Soto, Acuna. The one bright spot was Albies was selling for a lot and I got some good prices for his. But I also sold the others for very good deals. So a bunch of rookies. Freshman Flash, Ramon Laureano. Still no color. I I think last year I was getting, uh, I don't know, I think one color or autograph like every four or five of these uh, packs. This year, I mean, I opened, I think, five blaster boxes, ten of the cello packs, and four or five of the hanger boxes. Got one autograph and didn't get a single color refractor, which seemed a little off to me but we'll see we're going to juxtapose this one to it with a Kyle Wright Corey Seager and Josh Hader pink all right haven't seen any other guys I think this is just a regular Sorry about that, arms are getting a little tired. Got to hold them straight out and hold these cards up the whole time. 
I've noticed that if I put my arms down, the table kind of wobbles a little bit more and I don't want the video to be all shaky. Cedric Mullins, Bryce Wilson, rookie refractor. Gibson and Scherzer, insert. And Eddie Rosario. All right, we have five left, so we're through six. Got one tattoo so far, which is sweet, and it works for me. I was hoping, I'm hoping to get two, hoping to get one of, two would be great, and then one of the rest of the big guys. And any color would be gravy on top. For any Alonzo, Jimenez, Vlad, or Tatis. Michael Kopech, Michael Kopech, Trevor Bauer. I think Kopech's going to be really good if he can stay healthy. I mean, you could have said the same thing for the last four or five, like three years. Birdie. Miles. And last pack here. Scherzer on the back. Justice Sheffield. Fran Mule Reyes refractor. Josh Hader. And Max Scherzer. So down to four. Let's see. Start with the pink packs. Candelario, Mazzara, and Bogarts. Danny Jansen, Brandon Crawford, Zach Cozart. Not a whole lot going on in those pinks. Not a trout, not a Bryant or anyone. Kyle Schwarber, Prism. Fran Mill Reyes. I know Patrick Wisdom. Rizzo. Okay. Devers. Raphael Devers. Refractor. The Red Sox have stunk, so this stuff's not doing so great. Uh, I'm okay with it because I don't like the Red Sox. So we got Otani, Mitch Haniger, Syndergaard, and you may have seen Rookie Cup of Acuna, which is nice. I think I'm going to start in my next, my longer submissions, sending in some second year chromes of Soto, of. Um, Vlad, of Tatis, Acuna, and seeing what Trout stuff goes for, second and third year stuff is crazy pricing right now, so send some stuff in to get graded, that's a Ryan O'Hearn prism, man, if Ryan O'Hearn blows up at any point, I think I have a mint, probably a million dollars worth of Ryan O'Hearn cards, if they just go from penny cards to dollar cards. He was all over last year's products. And that is Chris Davis, Aaron Nola. So two more packs. Aside from that Fernando Tatis, these have been blah. So part of me saying, okay, I guess it's kind of nice that I didn't, um, I didn't sell these. You know what I mean? If someone buys 11 packs and it's kind of bleh. I don't know what their opinion is going to be on the person selling them. So I put these aside at the end of last year, opened a lot of other stuff, and was just kind of hoping. But hoping it would take off pretty quickly. It hasn't. So I'm opening them. All right, last of the pinks. Looking for... Any of the big three, four from last year. Eric Hosmer and the last chance, Jeff McNeil. It's about a $2 card. 
It's probably the second best card that we got. May, uh, you know what? I take that back. Mike Trout base. I think Mike Trout base chrome is probably three three bucks. All of his chrome stuff. And this is another. It looks like one of the rookies. So I'm just gonna put that there and see if I'm right. Again, no color. We did get a Correa Prism, Jake Cave, and Kopech. All right. That card looks different, but I think it's just... Oh! Oh! All right. Sorry, I put it down. I'm going to slide that right up there. It matches the card in the background. Woo! Very nice. And that is a Fernando Tatis. Refractor. Rookie Refractor. PSA 10s of these, like the one in the background, go for $400 right now. I mean, he is on a tear. He is looking like your potential National League MVP as of right now. That card is beautiful. From a centering perspective, looks great. I double checked my with my PSA 10 and others. The glove does go pretty much right to the edge on the well-centered ones. If it's cut short on that side, the glove's gonna be cut off. If you see a lot of silver on the edge, then it's uh, off-center the other way. But that looks good. Back looks good. I always tell people to look out for the back. Like it's what I, I know it's gotten me in a lot of cases because um, I didn't look at the back. And if it's off center, or there's a scratch. Chrome cards still have chrome backs. So that card is definitely heading to PSA. Beautiful card. So. Let's see, you can hang out right there. I'll get the other one together. And we'll see who that, I did put a, you know, I did put a pack aside. See if it's um, Guerrero, Eloy. So we'll finish here, these two. So we didn't get any color so far. Trevor Bauer, Whit Merrifield, I think that's Aloy, yep, Aloy Jimenez, rookie, and you see this one's a little off-center, left, right, top, bottom, can I just compare them, if they're equal to each other, then those are going to be pretty well-centered, so this is a card I might just hold on to, if he starts to blow up, send his stuff in too. And be like, I'll set, I'm going to send in just a lot of stuff now. Just things that I'm okay with getting nines on. In the past, if it was a nine, or I thought it could pull a nine, I wouldn't send it. I just wouldn't do it. I wouldn't run the risk. But some, but a lot of these guys now, their nines are starting to sell for significant money. So it pretty much makes the risk worth it now to possibly get a nine before it was 10 or bust. Don't think there's anything in there. So the last pack I'm gonna open and then we'll go through it all together for the last three. I don't think so. So I don't think we got anything additional. Mike Trout, it's a nice card, couple bucks. Cano, Stewart, Muncie, that is a Kyle Hendricks, Chance Adams, Wrong Alonzo, that's a Yonder, Prism Refractor, and Renfro and Chris Bryant. So, at the end of the day, no color, again, um, which, I don't know if these, I think all these packs came out of the same, um, 
the same grouping at a target. Um, so I think it's just an unlucky pull, but from a color perspective or an autograph perspective. Um, but at the end of the day, the only two cards we pulled of the big four guys is right now the best. A Fernando Tatis, Chrome Rookie, and Fernando Tatis, Chrome Refractor. If this can come back just like the one behind, which I already have from last year, that is a $400 PSA 10 as of today. So I'd like to thank you for, uh, for tuning in. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, like the videos. It helps as we're trying to grow. I am responding to all comments, so please leave a comment. I really do like the, uh, the back and forth and the conversation that, um, that goes on with baseball cards. It's something I've done since I was seven. So um, thank you very much, and I uh, hope you guys have yourself a great day. Uh, tell me what you think of the new setup.